Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make this beautiful shaped card front. It's really easy to do, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you how I did the colouring, how I manipulated this die to work for this type of card and everything I'm using you'll find linked down below. This is part of my brand new Textures Opulence range, probably my favourite die of the whole collection so I can't wait to show you how to do this. Let's get started straight away. So in the decorative floral outline die, there's two dies and we're going to be utilising both of these in different ways to create the effect that we want. So I'm going to take, first of all, the outer die of the two. So this is the bold kind of blob shape. Uh, I've got myself a piece of A4 or letter size black cardstock. I have folded it down the centre there. I'm just going to use my scoring tool to make sure I've got a really nice sharp crease there or a bone fold as you may call it. And I'm going to place the outline die just over the edge of the cardstock like so. And I'm going to bring it down here because I'm, I'm going to be chopping this down so it's a smaller card, more like your sort of um, A6 card or A2 if you're in the US, that sort of size. I might even take it down to square. But this is the main flower, so I definitely want this part in it. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit and as you can see, I'm well over the edge there just here so I'm going to stick this down with tape now you should be able to see a gap through there make sure you can see a gap if you can't move it away a little bit further so then I'm going to take a thin metal shim now a lot of die cutting machines will come with one of these if not you can buy adapters or additional accessories so pop that inside your card so that when your die cuts your cardstock it doesn't go through and cut the back page if you don't have a metal shim you could open your card up but that will still cut the back here unfortunately so you don't really have a lot of choice to put something inside unless you want to create kind of a hinge uh, cut the front away and then hinge it back on to the base of the card so definitely a metal shim is easier and then I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine Now, because I've got the metal shim in there, this is going to be additional pressure. So it's going to be a little harder than usual to run this through. If you've got multiple plates in your particular die cutting machine, you might be able to remove one of the thinner ones to allow for this. So I'm going to gently remove my tape, like so. Don't want to tear any of my cardstock. And I've now got myself a shaped card base. I just need to trim it down to the size that I want. I think I'm going to take this card down to a 5 by 7 so that's 5 inches in width and 7 inches in height. And we just need to snip away the excess pieces. That piece has come away nicely and I'm going to snip down here as well. Now, if like me, you've still got, because my metal's quite thin, you've still got this outline that's appeared on the backing of your card, I would pop another sheet of black cardstock just over the top of that to conceal it. Now I'm just going to snip this little piece as well from in the center, just to neaten these up. There we go, and I've got my shaped card base so far. Now from white cardstock I'm going to cut another one of these shapes and then I'm going to cut another one from black cardstock. So the black one we're just going to pop to the side for a little while, we'll use that in a, in a bit. And on this one we're going to apply some colour. So these are going to be whatever colours you'd like your flower to be. It's a good idea to place your detail die that we're going to be cutting in a little while down onto your white one and just mark kind of the outline of the petals of the flower okay just roughly doesn't need to be too precise so you've got a bit of an idea as to the where the edges of the flower is and there's a bud there so I'm only going to do the pe any of the petals you can also use here we've got um, on the front of the die packet it might be a little bit easier for you to see there so I'm just going to go around the, this outside here that's a gap and this is really going to help us in a moment you'll see that 
there we go. Now this is going to be quite a loosely coloured image here, but I've now got a rough idea where the flower is there, there and the bud there. That's all I needed. So now I'm going to pick what colours I'm going to make this flower. And I think I'm going to go with purples, lilacs, maybe a little splash of pink in the middle there somewhere. And then green for everything else because these are all leaves. Now rather than just going with one shade of purple and one shade of green, I'm really going to mix up lots of different colours. I've gone on to a really uh, heavyweight white card base as well, or white card stock. This is going to help me um, with a little bit of ink blending too, so I can get some uh, really nice sort of tones and shading and mixing of colours going on there. I'm just very loosely going to start adding colour and shading together. Now I'm going to take my water and I'm just going to spritz over everything all at the same time and just allow some of those colours to start mixing and um, start blending into each other a little bit and I'm going to allow it to all dry completely naturally. Where inks are running, that's fine, I'm just going to let that happen. So now that's dry, I've got my panel and I can adhere that over the top of the shaped card base that I've got here. I'm going to do this with wet glue and then trim off the excess at the bottom. Now we're going to take our outline die and cut this from gold mirror card. So as you can see with that cut out of gold it really defines all the details in the leaves and the petals. It looks absolutely stunning but we're going to make this look even better. So we're not going to glue this down just yet. We're going to just put this aside for a moment and we're going to come to that black piece that we die cut earlier. So I am going to now place uh, this one, the detail one, over the solid piece that we cut. And I'm going to make sure that there is a good outline all the way around the edge, like so, just making sure it's even. And then use some low tack tape to hold that down. You can stick your low tack tape into the middle of the die cut because a lot of these pieces you're not going to use, so it doesn't matter if the tape tears it a little bit. And then I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. Now, when you take this out of your machine, uh, make sure you keep all the little pieces that might fall out. Try to keep them in the die if you possibly can. So I've got some bits that have fallen out. I've just put them there. I've got some bits here and some bits here. Now, the first bit we're interested in is this outline because this is going to help our flower look more like it's blended into the background. And this is going to sit around the outside of here. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue this part on. So focusing on this outer edge, I'm going to place this down like so. It might be easier if I actually open my card up for you so you can see what I'm doing. There, just popping it down the exact shape of that outline there. There we go. And then this is giving us the perfect shaped border to outline our gold. Now again, you can trim away your excess at the bottom. You may have made your card large enough so that you don't have the excess at the bottom. That's absolutely fine. It's entirely up to you as to what size card you prefer. So now we can put our gold back in here and you start to see the reason we just did that black outline. It now looks as if the gold, the edge of the flowers are kind of... It, standing out from the back of the card. It just looks so much nicer. So I'm going to now use a spray adhesive over the back of this, but I do that over my waste paper bin, and then we're going to put this bit in. So just carefully placing this back in, it should fit perfectly inside that black shape that you've just glued down around the outside. Work your way around the edges. Because this is such a fine detailed die cut, there will be some movement in it. So uh, just manipulate it where you need it to go. And now I'm going to pop back into the card things like this shape here, which should be fairly easy to find because it's quite a large one, which I believe is that. And then we're starting to really define where our florals are going. And I'm going to stick this on with a wet glue. So 
so there we've created that really fun floral kind of a shaped card almost or shaped card front with the beautiful mixed colors of petals in there and the greens really easily as i said i have popped inside the back here another panel of cardstock just to cover over that embossing that happened with the die cutting how gorgeous is that now of course you can finish this off in any way you wish with a sentiment with a wrap with a belly band uh, with a bow whatever takes your fancy but hopefully that's given you some inspiration for using this particular die but also any other outline dies like this that you may have in your stash You'll find links for everything I've used down below. And of course, as always, I'd love it if you could subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. You'll find a step-by-step -step instruction booklet free for you to download on my website. And you can find that just here. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I'll see you again very soon.